okay. This is really how binomial is actually going to be asked about in questions. <coughs> it's not just going to ask you to find out the probability of something that just says x is greater than or equal to 3. It says here that in a computer game, you have 20 attempts to try and knock some monkeys off a tree branch. The probability of knocking a monkey off a tree branch is 0.3. And then first of all, it wants us to determine the probability that someone knocks less than six monkeys off the branch and knocks at least nine monkeys off the branch. Then we're going to go on to the much more interesting part of the question, which is part C. So <coughs> there's no mention of binomial here. But there's a reason we know it's binomial, because there are a fixed number of trials. There is a fixed probability. You can either knock the monkey off the branch or not, not knock the monkey off the branch. And we think they're going to be independent of each other. That it, if you knock a monkey off a branch once, it shouldn't change the probability of it again. So I think that if x is the number of monkeys that is knocked off the branch, it would be binomially distributed with what should go inside here? 20, 20 and 0 0.3. So let's see if we can translate this statement. If x, x is the number of monkeys knocked off the branch, then we should be able to translate this. Knocking less than 6. What symbol needs to go in between this x and 6? Just less than. Less than or equal to? Less no, it just says x is less than 6, okay? <coughs> less than 6 we know is going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all of these ones, okay? So we, it's the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, which we can just put onto the calculator. Yeah? I get 0 0.4164 to four decimal places. Part B. No, you don't need to write that. The probability that you knock at least nine monkeys off the branch. What symbol needs to go in between here? At least nine. So we're saying they could knock off nine monkeys, oh, 10, oh. 11. <coughs> no. Where's everyone saying, where's everyone saying less than or equal to? What is this less than or equal to? It's like you don't know the difference between, do you know the difference between more than and less than? Oh my gosh. So we're saying it's at least nine, meaning it could be nine, 10, 11, all the way up to uh, 20. <coughs> So greater than or equal to 9, I'm going to do all of the values minus the probability that x is less than or equal to, you know this is less than or equal to rather than more than or equal to, yeah? 8. Okay? So if you have a graphics calculator, I would type in my lower bound on the graphics is going to be 9, and my upper on the graphics is going to be 20, but I'm going to do it with the class whiz kind of mode. In fact, I don't have it on the classes, so let's just quickly do that. Uh, less than or equal to 8. So it would be 1 minus 0 0.8867 when it rounds, yeah? Which is 0 0.1133. Okay? You could do that subtracting. If you did it on your graphics, you could just do between 9 and 20, and you do get 0 0.1133. So those are our answers for these bits. This is where the question gets properly interesting, though. So the game gives you a prize of one banana if you knock at least nine monkeys off the branch. A student plays the game five times. Calculate the probability that they win at least four bananas. So this is different now. What has happened? What's, what's changed now? Or what, what do you think we might be able to need to do for the next part of the question? Yeah, uh, we're going to, to get the answer to be yeah. times that by, oh, um, so we definitely know this is, this is definitely going to be something that we need for part C, because this is the probability that what? The probability that you, yeah, good. Okay, so the probability, 
that you get a banana is 0.1133. We're going to now play this game five times. So we're going to do five games. Good. Now I'm going to just use a different letter. I'm going to say let Y, because I don't want to use X, because I've already used X, right? Let Y be uh, winning a banana. So Y is winning a banana. That means that Y will be binomially distributed. We're playing the game five times, and the probability that you win a banana is 0.1133. So this is a binomial within a binomial question. <laughs> so now we want to find out the probability that they win at least four. Sorry, did you have a question? What do you say that you could? No, no, because it says here, it says the game gives you a prize of one banana if you lock at least nine monkeys off the branch. And you have 20 attempts within one game. So this person is playing this game five times in a row. And they're hoping that out of these five games, they want to win at least four bananas. Now, first of all, if you've got like a basically a 10% chance of getting a banana and you're going to play the game five times, do you think that there's going to be a high chance that you get four or more bananas? It's going to be pretty rare, right? If it's, you've only got a 10% chance of getting one banana, the chance of getting at least four is going to be pretty rare. That's my prediction. So we're going to say, what is the probability that y and 4? It says at least 4. What does at least 4 mean? What symbol am I going to use? Please tell me you get this right this time. No, what's the symbol? More than and including 4. OK, so that's actually saying 4 or 5. So if you're doing it on the graphics calculator, you can put lower boundary, upper boundary. But we're going to do 1 minus the probability that at, at y is less than or equal to three. three, okay? If you do the graphics, you can do four and five, but Zero. I'm gonna do, Zero. okay, give me a second. Yeah. Have you, did you change the things to five and 0.113? Yeah. Yeah. 0 0.999. 0 0.999. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So if I do one minus that, I get 0 0.0075. If I go straight on the graphics calculator and I just do it between 4 and 5, you do get, you get 0 point, I'll tell you what you get instead, you get 0 0.000749, which is the same thing as this thing that we've got here, okay? So they absolutely love these kinds of questions where it starts off like talking about binomial to do with one thing, and then that thing becomes a binomial for the next part of the question. So what I'd like you to have a go at is I'd like you to go to the mixed exercise, which is at the end of that chapter, and I'd like you to try question 15, which I believe is about an archer doing archery. And then we're going to just do that one question, then we're going to do a little bit more, okay? Archer.